going on? Vimeo, YouTube people, stock twit, Twitter people, fin twit, what have you, whatever the cool kids go by nowadays. I just wanted to go over some markets. I've been traveling and moving, so I haven't been streaming as much or posting as much. Um, I do still trade every day, um, many different markets. I just don't post as much. But I'm going to try to just because the stuff on YouTube is just terrible. I mean, everybody seems like a guru, but nobody really goes over anything. It seems like they all just try to profit off of the, uh, uh, what do they call it, the ads, monetizing stuff, you know, from the fake day traders to the penny guys to the, uh, you know, the financial uh, gurus and what have you. It seems like everybody's an expert, um, you know, but again, just because you know markets or can talk markets doesn't mean you can trade. Um, it's definitely a different a different take to each, knowing versus doing. But anyways, I'm just going to go over some markets here. I'm still testing stuff on this Mac I'm using. So here's the ES, right here, our SPY. You can see we gapped up for whatever reason um, going into um, you know Friday we rallied overnight tried to go higher but then we finished with right here a gravestone doji I believe is what they call that in the TA world world right at the monthly open October open so you know we still have a bearish signal here I'm watching as well you know this was the day that we sold off on that uh, China drama. Now, as you can see, I have a short this thing here. So I'm looking for this to. We're probably going to stay in this range. You know, we were we were in this range for a while. We broke out of it. Tried to go higher. Shooting star here. Short signal came. We had to flush. Obviously, there's tons of support right here. We caught bids. Put in a lower high here off the China news. But now we're struggling to get above the October open, which is, you know, right right around this day is 10-1. The previous month's high for, uh, what is that, September is right here. So we're nowhere near that. And we have an exhaustion candle. This basically means buyers stepped in, and then the buying just exhausted, ran out of steam, which could lead to a, a breakdown lower. Or a chop, you know, because we broke, we did break this Fibonacci 61.8 level I follow right through here where this alert is. So that usually is a bullish signal if the short Fibonacci fails. Obviously, you know, it's everything subjective. You got to take it into context. So what I'm watching this week is to see if we're going to hold above this area for bulls. Where are my alerts at? I'm going to move this alert up here. So basically, what I want to see is going to happen this week is if SPY is going to hold above basically 292. If so, that's good for the bull bears, or bulls, I'm sorry. If no, then we're probably going to come back here and test 284s and maybe dick around in this big range um, for a while, well, maybe months. It's good to be a premium seller in this market. So we'll see. QQQQQ, tech sector, same type of cat candle, a little bit more strong. Uh, more strong, I don't know if that's a word uh, or, or saying. As you can see, this one does have the buying signal that came in today, the green arrow. You know where SPY does not. And it is above the open, where SPY is not, so this is the stronger index. But what this index has as well is lower highs still. And we can do that by showing this bad boy right here. You can just, you know, go ahead and you know, see that right there. You can see lower highs right there. So ran ran right into resistance. You know, we had we made the all time high here. Couldn't get above, flushed. Tried to test it again, shooting star at highs, inverted hammer, what have you, flushed. Gravestone shooting star at highs, flush. So is this gonna happen? Boom. So the bears keep defending this area, denying those bulls, like that scene in our prom night in our home girl. Um, so we'll see what's going to happen. Again, as you can see, we had, just look at the pattern. This is a shooting star at highs, 
drop. You know, double top, retest, shooting start highs, drop. Shooting, this right here, drop. So this, this, this candle right here, you know, is pretty powerful um, to let you know that buying may be exhausting on these markets. So anyways, this is probably going to be a longer video than I wanted just because I'm a chatty Cathy. Uh, so we look at the weakest link of the group. Again, sell signal still, no buy signal, just like spy on the Russell small caps. Where did it hit its head at the, at the monthly open, orange line? You know, and I'm ready to short this bad boy. As you can see, that's why I have this alert right here to add more. I'm already short this with puts, but I'm going to be looking to short more puts because we're probably going to stay in this range and get back down to 140s. If 143s fails, we could be headed all the way down to 134s or 125s. Of course, that'd be a nice big correction. We'll see if that's going to happen. You know, but so far, the indexes, you know, haven't made a new high in a while. As you can see, SPY, no new high. The Q's, no new high. And IWM, no new high. Now we'll get into the e This is emerging markets. As you can see, this gapped up. Maybe on some trade news or who the hell knows why, but that's a gap up. But again, it struggled with a shooting star, so it couldn't sustain. I'm long this. I'm, I'm long emerging markets. So as you can see, I have the arrow here. I want this bad boy to go higher. We got the buy signal here, so that's a good thing. Maybe it's going to come back down, fill this gap. Hopefully, it stays above this orange line. If it does stay above this orange line, then I'll look to add more calls to my EEM position and let this thing just keep rocking and rolling. EEM is obviously emerging market, so this is Brazil, which looks pretty strong. I'm also long this. I'm going to get long this and probably add some BRZU puts, which is a leveraged ETF for Brazil. China, China. China also gapped up again emerging markets. As you can see, I'm long this as well. I'm long this with calls um, and a few accounts. I have, I have like five accounts I trade with stocks or equities and options, and then a couple futures, a couple FX accounts as well uh, so um, where was I oh back to expanding this so FXI as you can see gap up as well you know but it, lower highs but a gap up is nice you know usually a gap and go can play out like you can see if it gaps it usually has authority see we gapped here she ran up we gapped here ran up um, gapped here it didn't run up so it really is just you know it's a context thing but combining all your all your um, you know experience technicals what have you intuition which comes from experience which comes from time in the game um, you know then you can kind of pick up on little nuances um, you know which just again takes time this, ga this game cannot be taught it can only be learned no matter what you try to see online with all these again YouTube gurus can't be taught. It can only be learned. You know, you can copy someone. That's why I give out trading signals. If you check out the link in the description, I'm going to bust out some trading signals for stock and option traders who use, you know, Thinkorswim, Robinhood, what have you. And then also Forex traders, you know, because that's global. So that's a good market um, as well to gain customers for me, I guess you could say. So anyways, the VIX melted back. It's holding its, it's holding its lows. So it's a good sign if you're bearish. Um, but not what you want to see, a gap down, big big red candle to close almost at its lows. On the VXX. And similar with the VIX, VXX is the VIX, which is the volatility index, which is priced off of out-of-the-money puts. People are scared they buy puts on SPY and SPX. They have not been doing that, or they did, but then they stopped on 10-1. So the fear has left the building to start October, but I believe historically... October is a volatile month, so we're probably going to have a lot more um, VIX pops before we get to Thanksgiving time. Bonds. I'm short bonds right now. I'm still, I was shorting all through here. I covered some. Um, I thought bonds were going to get a bid through here possibly based off the uh, bounce here and the news, but we like reversed right here. Right around this area, right around 10-1 is when fear left. The equity started being bought up. You know, equities being SPY, QQQ, SPY, QQQ, we went over, being bought, and then gold and fixed income being sold. And again, you can see this sold off. We got the sell arrow. I'm looking to short this. But if we get back above this 140s, 
in order for that to happen, in order for this to have rally, SPY has to be selling off, which that may happen. This isn't a key support zone for me. But odds are SPY is going to keep rallying, or if SPY goes sideways, and this may flush back down. And I'll look to take profits right around 135s on my puts on TLT. Um, so here's a high credit yield. This is risky yield for high, high risk of default companies. You get a nice return on your um, uh, principal or on your um, whatever nice coupon, but obviously it's a high risk of default as well or higher risk. That's why it's called high yield bonds. So these are putting in a lower high. We have the sell signal here. Um, so I'm looking to short this. And this usually moves like the markets. As you can see, the spy gapped up we talked about. This also gapped up. This very, this is very similar, and I'll just overlay it here so you can see. Um, very similar. See how spy gapped up? See how spy gapped up and this gapped up? So yeah, that's what I'm watching as well. I don't know why it does that. And now we can get into oil, which I'm long in terms of oil and oil names. I like this long. I have not got the buy signal yet, but I'm creeping in early. Uh, if it gets above 11, it's just back up to 13s. This is where it gapped up on that um, Saudi bombing news. You know, everyone was thinking oil is going to go up forever. Obviously, that was priced in. It trapped a whole bunch of, it ran a whole bunch of bulls or bear stops. Then it ran a whole bunch of um, bull stops. You know, all this was just noise um, on oil. Which again, I like oil higher. I'm going to be buying more oil if it does sustain its um, momentum here and keep rallying up. If we get a green arrow, I'm definitely going to be buying. Natural gas, I'm long this. I took some profits right into here. I got stopped out. Um, and then it flushed, which this is just really weird price action. Uh, you know, people bidding it up, and then obviously not so much, but it is making a higher low right here. So therefore, I like this long still, but I will be hedging if we get under under this alert at 18, 1840s, basically. Gold. Gold, as you can see, it's kind of messy. I got my stuff there. Let me delete this, too. So here's gold which was looking bearish, um, but now this is a nice buy signal. So I'm watching this, you know, because it's basically, I'm long gold long term. I've been going over this on the stream for quite a while, but the near term I've been short. Um, if the markets rally, gold's going to drop. But this hammer right here, gold may stay sideways if the markets stay sideways as well. Just my theory. We're going to see what's going to happen. Um, you know, but so far, basically for the whole month of September, um, and now through October, gold has just been in this, you know, range. One, I mean, it's a six dollar range, so it's rather large, but it's really just chopping, um, not going anywhere. Silver as well ran up with gold, and now I'm watching it to see what it wants to do. If it's going to bounce higher, or if it's going to hit its head and flush. Again, I think this direction has a lot to do with what Spy is going to do on gold and silver so we'll see the dollar I'm short this so um, so far so good um, I have a, quite a bit of a, out of the money puts all layered through down here so um, targeting 25 is my final target but also this area and this area but so far the dollar was his king and it probably was still king, stay king, but it looks like it's going to um, probably get back down here and find support at 26s. Commodities, these are graded to head higher. I'm waiting for the green arrow here before I buy more. And targets will be, you know, 1672s and 18s just as a home run target. Agriculture, same thing. Finally breaking out. I'm long this. Targets are right through here, 
and above, um, which these are long shots. These are many, many days on my options. And then lastly, look at the 10-year yield, which was near its all-time low. As you can see, I have it labeled here, um, which was way back, you know, years ago. Um, but since then, I've got the buy arrow here, which is good for um, interest rates to go higher. This is the 10-year interest rate. Got up to 1.878, so 2% basically on your money. Then it came all the way down to 1.5%, and now we're back up. So if this continues to rally, bonds will drop. As far as what the market will do, we'll see. Right now, they didn't like high rates. They sold off on December on high rates through here. Then the Fed said they're going to be lowering rates, and then the market has just ripped um, and been sideways since April, I guess you could say. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see what we're going to get this week going into um, – Monday, October 14th or Sunday, October 13th. But anyways, thanks for watching this analysis video. If you have any tips, tricks, or suggestions, let me know. If you found it helpful, give it a like. Um, and again, subscribe on Vimeo because that's where most of the videos are going to go and are going. Some are YouTube for marketing purposes. I'm trying to grow and expand YouTube to grow the channel so I can be like the other cool gurus, um, you know, but also to market to hopefully find some other uh, like-minded traders out there. So anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. You can check me out on Twitter and Stock Twits. I post charts there all week, uh, all day, every day, and then I stream when I can on YouTube and Vimeo. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day, good weekend. Bye bye.